It's good to be with you this morning on our uh, Office of the President, Vice President, uh, COVID-19 uh, Town Hall as we uh, greet you on a Tuesday morning. Uh, thankful for another day of life. Thankful that we could bombard heaven and uh, pray for our people as uh, some are suffering and we acknowledge that. So without further ado, as we always do, let's uh, start this morning's session uh, with prayer. God, God, we give you praise this morning. Thank you for another day of life, Lord. Another day to work for the people, Lord. We pray for your wisdom, Lord, to fall and be ours, to rain down upon the land, Father, that we would all see your ways, your methods, which are far above our, our own, Lord. Your word says that you'll leave man to his own devices, Lord, if he uh, doesn't honor you. And so, Lord, we just ask again that we could be uh, humble, humble servants, Lord, serving you, serving the people, Lord, for that's what you created us for. And, and in that, Lord, yeah, it brings glory to you. So this morning, we give you this uh, time on uh, social media, on the airwaves, Lord, to give updates to the people. We pray that many would hear, Lord Father, and many would see uh, the brevity, the importance of uh, hearing a timely word from the leadership, Lord. And uh, many would, uh, would follow suit, Lord Father, the guidance, Lord, the wisdom, Father, from our health professionals, and from uh, uh, leadership, Lord, of, of this Navajo Nation. Thank you again, Lord. We praise you. We ask for your safe keeping, Lord Father, for many of the Lord, Lord those that are suffering right now. And Lord, all across the land that we would uh, seek you in your ways, your methods, Lord, for protection, Father. In Jesus' name, Lord, uh, give us this time, Lord Father, in peace, love, and harmony. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And so now at this time, I'd like to uh, welcome this morning our president of the Navajo Nation, Mr. Jonathan Nez. Nahanda Pahia, Judi Kunas Nigi, A Bikijin de Pa, Dije Ado Hagandan da so Tranigi, She Naha Hensen Ado Nzanago e ya hot a Alka nature told his indale nish. She ado shouldn't Ado Kun Shedeji, a she a shin slant at Nessani, but she's chin. Tudichini <laughs> Uh, Nancy do Helen, Nado Balchindo. Joe hot out ail get a debt in ya an ilsco. Nihi Nasta's Lingi, Nihi Madon, Nihi Jen, Hik Aid and Lingi, Bada Huilia Ada a quich, Kodo, a masan, a che, and nulla Nasta so lint, da so lingi do Edo Ahagandin da so tranta di no hot that need tin shikido shouldn't. I don't need the craggy a kodo and he must son he chain in nulla. Buka nature and say ya asahan the has tria. But chin but so kay late or the a keda hat in do banana shidil. I do a shin jogot ah nihi ya the ho ah. Dinos tra. I don't hear none, I should say. The biddy no kodo the halchen became seeds. A conde deed that non tinigi a bindo deal, as the snow a kodon hitch a hasty dollet. I don't hear zado, bada wheel yard dollet. Tan hear my son hitch chain in nulla. 
Lego Tadde di Caho yet, the Nebby Key of a car, a dun. Nahal Chinny and he saw Kay, Ainley, uh, Hos do the Kedda hat, Bell D, the Kedda hat, Villagana be Kay at the Kedda hat, Abbe, Balchin, and Linigi do in a dish, Inigi Abbe, a dish, eh? Daddy, ne, a masson, a chain, a linnit, Linigi. A conde. Nhe kodona antin hije kodalia eya nhe madon hije nhe masa nhe chain hi nala pa da ho hia dan hi to ni so ashwara shmasan she chain nala na sleni aro nkhal chin bich ahya da hti bena nish de inigi e kodo nkha da halya bit yo ta bena nish de do e o ad ni hina ni shi da shi da bi di nin binti ye ad ni hi ka na cha e shi bi ni na sa ni hi ma sa ni hi che ni na la a sa han da ha zi tra bi cha ya de il tiyo e be a be e na ad e shi ad da di no ad o na da di ne sha ha jo ba a sa ha sa ta na da di ne e na ue do le kodo ni hi za ad e ya Nhalchin hit so can he nalike Binti ye could Nika natcha tole. Ena and Tina di bedo hilza teacher Ndishni, shikedo shudna. Ye jo by inch kid. An in da craigie, you see. Aro o yo sad. Do yat eggy e con di di dat eggy di a computer. O yo nan let the ilch. Ya deel tke da si tli ha ila bini na huintzen. Tke da na an tine e la ha hit a da an an le di ha zi zi ho ya he da bik e je ha zi zi ho. A i ta ha i huit ni. E la he la na bit ne is tra la. He la ba ma he la ba je he la ba ma san he la ba che he la ba na la huit ni ya. Sa e a handi e hot a anda no tken. Ye la. Di na snegi de kosten tragi na hast eits at da bje liya ki jo ebik eje in de pa de sno de sna Aska ne cha do es ki sin de na sho di a shok at di de nebi ki apa ka ya koni nte a ha da ino sne shik ino sini ye go e kodon hi na ne shita sa akon de ana sit ito le di Mask that eggy chodas e ash rode. Ni massa ni chain nalado. Bada house yet robanda ye. Chian the bichacundal and dasa ash rode. Judi the cousin tragi. Ah nea. Do ze bahalonda. Cade ya di nas negi con. Ni a massa ni a chain in a lay, you see. Paint in a hallen con, din al sausage a conal in her. Lan hits on, he dick any hid in an hits a a dajit den yet eat the cousin scraggy benina. Tran as a thing over a lads at the lads at the. An elder. Ought a yard eat the cousin scraggy. Um, it's ado a dajit den. Na kin nez na tin doba a hastra en el tao aid di nastas lengi hastra hastra tin benda regi e nits a ana 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 as a dajit den na kin nez na tin doba a hastra en el tao so e benin na kodon khalchen yik eda dez in to le stishno adishne Ado nin da kregi kodo buk ni he masan ni he che ni nala buka anacha. Din le chiyan de ni ho ya sa. Kodo ni he masan ni he che ni nala sa kodan na. Nkhal chin la e ya do nkhan da kata dan na sa. Bini nagi shi halo. Juk aden le na snegi at o belagana beke at o yo de corn nisk at nihe ashon ya corn nisk in the belagana beke ya nihinago 
tekon nikhle hos dorinda a hot ebini na kodo adadi ne ya aro chanta khe aro le hos dogo chanta khe kujdo beldil ado chochida kinsan so lego bahastiot so yo kodo da ne ya de ne aje a keda hat inigi o ko yu a ti beda do na dan ich es no ade dan ich nes in de kadek aje oje belgana beda do na i de konis e da ze bin in na do es keje ya je ti da dan ich do ni dia ba has ti dan ich do ni ne je e shin an ti ni gi ta ko do bi ga dan ich es no ya belgana sa o yo es keje o ni keje ya da ti kade beishni do ni he de ti da ha de shi yishni di covid 19 gi de kosen tragi na hast e za tro nanda a konde di nikiko ya koni sigi de da ze kodon ni de ne bike ya pokao kuinzen kodon hina tani bel asla hande itle a ni hin hasla ani sodne ni klini jo de snit a de kuishin de zit kat hadainos ne parenden da so trafashi ba che to kre ya la Oh, on the set down the cushion tears at Shinquins. Cadet are the shatter at the dots at the hat nod. Chon. Ah, on the so turn a shone the dinner snaggy and he get a codo at zaggy. A scar nature how they not a coda deal in short. The never key up a car. Cadigia has tried the milliage. Do has tan as the din do ba tradin tra an elt or ekon the cosin tragi, but that does not hig any hidden air con the nebby key up a cow ked a wheat inigi. Ado tan as the din do ba satsata a nig any hidden air ah did cosin tragi benina a dajitan. Bahast hit O ye ya Dabadi Nishin Kun Hachin Hik Aidan Lenigi Ebeni na ea run in the sotra Tra the meal yajadoba ana kinez not din doba a Tost it A di the cousin tragi at a dobe da halonda Beda dol na ye each each in cray each a dusk cray das zi kade ya ayat e honda kre nte di adishnit aya ze to bahalonda ebenina ada ada hos ya shik edo shidna kodoni hijo ba deni ke nakha kha ta ni zeno da di ne kodo nat ani ni tlenigi ani tsu this is uh, Jonathan Nez, uh, president of the Navajo Nation, uh, coming to you from Window Rock, Arizona, to give uh, an update on COVID-19, um, the work, the hard work that our employees have been doing, including each and every one of you out there. Uh, working in partnership, working together as one. And as you know, the graph that's going to be coming up, the first graph shows what we've went through uh, during the duration of this pandemic here on the Navajo Nation. And you see the graph there from March 1st, all the way to June 13. And those are the COVID positive cases that have been reported throughout this public health emergency through this pandemic. As you can see, 
a gradual increase all the way into the mid part of this pandemic around uh, late April, mid May. That high spike, the 240, that there was just a reconciliation of data and information. That's why there's a big spike there, 240. They had to do an audit. They got all this information and they redone the numbers. So that's the reason why there's a big spike there. But as you can see towards the end there, from the late May into now mid-June, you can see uh, a kind of an average of around 100 and, and right around there of positive cases. And yesterday, we only had 22 cases that was reported and zero deaths. And that's because of the work of everyone here on the Navajo Nation, our healthcare professionals, our first responders, our police officers, our EMT, everybody, including the public. And I've mentioned this in previous town halls that we beat the projection, the surge projection that the Navajo area IHS um, projected by a whole month, by a whole month. And that's because we were wearing our masks, that we're was social distancing, washing our hands, and staying at home. And ladies and gentlemen, now is not the time. This is, I'm, I'm sure many have, many say that this is good news. It's going away. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, all around us, there are high cases uh, of coronavirus. The hot spots, everybody was saying per capita, the hot spot was on the Navajo Nation. It's not anymore. Maricopa County is seeing a big spike in coronavirus cases. If we can go to slide two, <clears throat> slide two basically gives a graft uh, of all the service unit areas. That includes Chinle, Kayenta, Crown Point, Shiprock, Fort Defiance, Tuba City, Gallup, and Winslow. And the colors show that towards the end there, there's some flattening of the uh, the curve there. You know, Kienta is, that's the light blue one there, is beginning to flatten out. There's still an increase in Chin Li. That's the blue one, you see? And so Chin Li, you know, we need to um, keep wearing our masks. You know, Studies indicate now that wearing a mask can reduce the spread of COVID-19. I guess you can look at Navajo Nation as a case study, if you want to call it that, that other states might want to copy or emulate because we have mandated our people to wear masks in public. And other places around us, they don't mandate that. They don't make sure that people wear masks. And you can see the correlation of that because of the high numbers. And if we can go back to the graph, the, the purple there is Gallup Indian Medical Center. You can see from April 1st, big spike, big increase all the way into mid-may but when mid-may came around it began to flatten out we're, we're testing a lot more people that's why too right 20 over 20 percent of our navajo people have been tested here on the navajo nation and i just recently got just got an update right now 21.7 percent of the total population on the navajo nation have been tested so we're testing a lot. You got to keep that in mind. We're testing a lot. So that's why these numbers are hovering above 100. But other states throughout the country are not testing as aggressively as we are. 
you know, you have uh, New Mexico that have been testing high, not not as high as we are. Um, Arizona is way way down, way down, to including Colorado. And so, what I'm saying here is that we need to continue to do what we have been doing and there's going to be a prevention campaign that's going to be kicking off today and we're going to use the slogan don't back down i think vice president can sing that oh, who is that tom petty don't back down we can't back down and so we're pleading with everybody to not let up. Don't back down. We got to continue to wear a mask. We got to continue to social distance because all around us, you see high numbers peaking, high numbers just going up. And it's concerning. And, and I've heard people that I've talked to that are living in the valley. They're scared. Remember, we were scared when we were peaking, too. And all we could say over the phone is, we'll be praying, we'll be praying. And I tell them, wear your mask. Don't, don't, don't wait for the public health order to, to mandate it. Just wear your masks. And that's what we're doing here on Navajo. And don't let down. Don't back down, ladies and gentlemen. Let's continue to wear our masks here. Before I go into another graph, let me just give you the numbers that I received yesterday from the Department of Health and the Epidemiology. I said 21.7% of our Navajo people have been tested. That's 44,589 people. 44,589 people have been tested. The negative results, 35,639. Positive 6,633, and I said the day before to yesterday, twenty only 22 positive cases. The negatives were 567 cases from the day before, because when you, when you think 22, this probably didn't test a lot of people. But from Sunday to Monday, 382 tests were given that were recorded and that were announced. And the negative tests are, are high. Uh, and the positive tests are low. And, and so we have to um, continue to do what we've been doing. 3,207 people have overcome the virus, have recovered. That's always encouraging. But as I always say, only 11 of the service areas, unit areas, have sent us their numbers. And you're probably wondering why. It's because they don't have that many employees to, you know, report a lot of their emphasis is on investigation and contact tracing they're trying to find the origin where did it spread where did it come from you know and then try to investigate back to where they can concentrate we all can concentrate our efforts and you can see that with the graphs Chin Li, we're going to have to uh, focus a little bit more on, on Chin Li because it's continuing to go up. And where did it come from? Where is the spread happening? You know, those investigations take a lot of time. And so because of that, information um, comes slow to the nation. But 3,207 recoveries is a, is, a, is a great, good number, a positive number. 311 people have lost loved ones 311 one way too many we pray for our families that have lost loved ones and I, I i've lost some family members i've lost 
I've known of people who have lost their lives, you know, nation. Nation's pretty, it's huge, but it's a pretty tight knit. Everybody knows one another here. And we've seen that, and we continue to pray for those family members. I, I spoke a little bit in Navajo, and I talked directly to our elders. You know, of this 311 and I, I've said this in previous town hall meetings, and I hope you hear me this time, is that 206 of those 311 that have passed were over 60. That's our elders. 67% of the deaths here on Navajo are our elders. So what does that mean? That we, we need to surround our elders and protect them. We need to. And I told grandma and grandpa, please don't protect your children and your grandchildren when it comes to uh, them coming home and taking care of you. Because you hear a lot of grandmas and grandpas and our elders say, well, my children are not here because they have their own life over there with their own family. They got their own jobs over there. But yet grandma and grandpa are here by themselves on the Navajo Nation. We were all taught to take care of our parents and our grandparents. So I told the elders, we need to stop saying that and stop defending uh, our children and our grandchildren. Their responsibility is to take care of our most vulnerable population, and that's our elders, our parents and our grandparents. You know, I've heard that in many places I go, you know, grandmas and grandpas saying, oh, nobody comes to see me. My kids are out there working. Um, grandkids are over there. I know I'm, I'm probably, <laughs> as I always say, stepping on some toes. By now, you should have bought, purchased some steel toe boots. Because this is not my teaching. If you want to get after me, go right ahead. But this is the teaching of our elders, of our leaders. That's the same teaching that has been handed down from one generation to the next, and this is where we're at right now. And so that teaching needs to continue, and that's why I'm saying that. That's the tough love that our grandparents have uh, forwarded over to us, to take care and protect our elderly now more than ever from this virus. Let's shield them from this monster so that we protect our knowledge, we protect our history, because a lot of the elders have that intellectual knowledge, traditional knowledge, and we can't have them leave us too early. Now let me shift to this next one, slide three. Slide three there. This is the increase in COVID positive around us here in the state of Arizona. And if you can see Maricopa County where Phoenix is, there's a big, big circle there. The outbreak is, is big there. Grand Canyon. Yuma, Tucson, Winslow, Holbrook. See, these are happening all around us. And so that is the reason why we're saying stay home. Don't travel, please. You know, the state of Arizona opened back up during Memorial Day weekend. Was it Memorial Day? Yes. Memorial Day weekend. And from Memorial Day weekend, when they took the stay-at-home order, uh, the shelter-in-place order out, you see the spike in cases to today. So those of you that are listening from off the Navajo Nation, something that we've learned here on the Navajo Nation is this, wear a mask. You don't have to be mandated and being told to wear a mask. Wear it. 
studies have indicated experts have indicated that it slows and stops the spread of covid 19. so those of you in phoenix wear those masks wear those masks ladies and gentlemen and for number the fourth slide is what i'm talking about in the state of arizona from march 27th and all the way into may those are the numbers that you see and if you look at the data even in the whole state of arizona this is remember about the elders this is not just navajo but all our elders look at 65 plus that dark red bar shows that the deaths by age group 65 plus is the most impacted age group out there so we need to protect our elders and that's what this campaign that we're going to do about prevention to this battle don't let down let's not back down and if you could see the ethnicity it says now white and non-hispanics are 45 percent hispanics at 20 percent native americans at 18 percent you know at one point we were at the highest and wear your mask that will stop and slow down the spread of covid 19 here on the navajo nation so are dice not saggy yet could all additional corn not source nikhi chikodalia nde kagi ya jo not source kada yilda dick a day ya host to ha hot zoji ya arts ho deed the cousin saggy na has aids at the yego de deskit with that old naggy ebony na aroch and a cray aro kin sa aro nle host dogo and a cray Deed Cousin Sagi Hater Bit out, bit old now. I then ye ye not Zago, eh? Deep Deep be 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 uh be chinny, craggy, yakon, nil the shinigia, decodon, nil or ebenina. Bassi tito, a da da has yonder de neshikado should na. Ado codolo not ani, which a yale tie lay Washington. Edo con tro daten Nikilin troba daten Peshenda Pasenden Tladon dal Nesta Kodo Peson Hijekodalia E ad Chado in study no hot on the heat Ashik Edo Shina Toda Halondo left E Benache E con Nihilla Tradig Tradig Nihilla Trolla Washpe the <laughs> Nihi <laughs> Things that we have been doing here on the Navajo Nation, it's, yeah, there's a lot of food and supply distribution. Uh, tomorrow, food distribution, we will be in Ojo Encino at the church there. And I'm trying to find the name of the church. If someone can help me find that name. Okay. Cedar Hill Baptist Church, Thule Butler in Ojo Encino. That's where we'll be at. 
uh, at 10 a.m. to do food distribution. So those of you that are Ojo and Sino will be there 10 a.m. at the uh, Cedar Hill Baptist Church. Um, Tuli Butler is uh, the facilitator. Thank you for helping, uh, welcoming us to Ojo and Sino, Tuli Butler. And then after that, 1.30 will be in Upper Fruitland. 3.30, Ni Nahnazad, and then 5.30, San Juan Chapter. 10 a.m., Ojo Encino at the Cedar Hill Baptist Church, and then Upper Fruitland Chapter House at 1.30, Ni Nahnazad Chapter House at 3.30, San Juan Chapter House at 5.30, just to let you all know where we're going to be at with our distribution to focus on our most vulnerable population you know if you don't need uh assistance or or food or if you don't like vegetables then i would advise don't come to these food distribution don't waste it you know people have donated these these supplies and these food and you know we're a big advocate for health and wellness that's why we're handing out fresh produce. If we hand out junk food, then after this um, pandemic, diabetes and cardiovascular disease is just going to go up. And so you, you should be aware of that, ladies and gentlemen. And I know a lot of people are handing out junk food out there, processed foods, and it's up to you. You know, you could say you don't want it. You don't need it especially those that are in that vulnerable population category. We're trying to get you out of that so you can have a strong, uh, healthy body. Your, your immune system will be stronger because food is medicine. We also been talking with uh, our lawmakers in Washington, D.C. Uh, we had a meeting with uh, Chairman Rahul Grijalva. As you know, the Navajo Utah Water Rights Settlement Act was approved through the Senate. Now it's the House. And so we're asking the House to support it, unanimous consent, so that we can bring running water into Utah, the Navajo Nation side of Utah because there's monies in there to help build water projects and now's the time to get that through Congress I also had a meeting this morning with Sharice Davids she was uh, asking uh, for an update you know a lot of congressional delegation and senators want updates including other leaders throughout the country sometimes we just do that left and right, trying to give updates, you know. But I know it's important that we give the information to our lawmakers because they can make those decisions to introduce certain legislations into Congress. And I was hopeful when she said that she would be one of many who would champion the extension for the CARES Act funding. Everybody knows December 31st is the deadline, right? We got these monies late. So it's even more so to get an extension so we can get these projects done. And she's willing to help us do that. I talked talk to her about the Navajo Utah Water Rights Settlement Act and what that could do. Um, what, a, what a great champion she is for Native American issues throughout this country. So... Representative uh, Davids, thank you so much for your um, advocacy for Indian country. Uh, yesterday, we had a meeting with Secretary uh, Azar for the Department of Health and Human Services with uh, the IHS director, um, Michael Wiyaki. And, and what I told them was this, too. Since there are spikes, the, the, um, 
the projection that we received back in March, you know, with the surge, they're seeing the surge happen off the nation. I think the last one I saw on the news yesterday was they're at 85% capacity of all their healthcare facilities in the valley. And you're probably wondering, why, how does that affect us? It affects us this way. If we start getting a surge here on Navajo, I'm afraid that healthcare facilities around us are not going to take our patients, our Navajo people, because they are in need of hospital beds. And I told Sharice Davids as well as Secretary Azar that we need to fund IHS to get these facilities built quickly, like the one in Delcon, the one in Gallup, Pueblo Pantado, and to include staffing for those healthcare facilities, the new ones so that we can you know have the capacity here on navajo um i'm, I'm so glad and happy that our healthcare professionals here work very hard and at one point they probably felt like the uh, healthcare system here on navajo was going to collapse that happened in mid-april right we beat the projection by a whole month, I said, the surge projection, and it happened in April where all our hospitals were at full capacity. But they did a, an awesome job holding our healthcare system in place. But a second surge, a worse surge, may put a lot of pressure back onto our healthcare system and our healthcare workers out there. So we had to let Secretary Azar know. And I even told him, I said, tell the state of Arizona to wear masks. Uh, New Mexico is wearing masks, you know. And that's why their numbers are also flattening out. Um, let me go to the CARES Act, since I've been talking about the CARES Act uh, and the dollars that came in. 60% of the eight billion dollars that was supposed to go to tribes three weeks ago was given to all the tribes right throughout the country and our share navajo share you know that is 600 million dollars so that was only 60 percent so the 40 percent of the cares act just came in yesterday and that is $86 million so far in our bank accounts again, on top of the uh, $600 million. And not all of it was given to the tribes. What's concerning to me is they, they saved some of this money for the Alaska Native Corporation, and you know we've been opposed to that. But for some reason, you know, they put some of those monies aside just in case the litigation favors the Alaska Native Corporation. And there's a timeline on this, December 31st, right? We need to get those dollars into all the tribes throughout the country so that they can help their citizens. And we are wanting to use these dollars for the immediate needs, the emergency operation of the Navajo Nation against COVID-19. You know, we're talking with the council right now. 0116-20 is before them. They tabled it for a work session. They had a work session yesterday. And, you know, continue to let your council delegates know we need 116-20 to be approved because it allocates $50.5 million for the immediate needs to get them PPEs, our senior citizens workers, our CHR workers, our police officers, to also include hazard pay for those that have been working all this time. Some haven't been working, but I'm saying that those that have been working and being on the front lines during this pandemic should get hazard pay. To start cleaning our Navajo Nation government facilities throughout the Navajo Nation. 
chapter houses that have been compromised, senior citizen centers that have been compromised, Head Start, you know, all these facilities. Before we start bringing in Navajo Nation staff into these buildings, we got to clean them. We have to put money aside to test our staff too. Make sure that they don't have the virus when they go back to work. Stagger their um, work time, you know, maybe five at a time, 10 at a time, depending on the size of their workspace. Some will work at home maybe one week. Some will be in and then you, you sh switch them out every so often because there is no, vi uh, the, for this virus, there is no cure or no vaccine. So we're going to have to live with this and we got to protect ourselves and we want to have those services being provided to our Navajo citizens. You know, with the, the small workforce that we had, They've done a great job running this government for three over three months now. And then $550 million will be remaining debts for water lines, local water line construction, bathroom additions, uh, major trunk lines, getting water to our people. $300 million of that. And just to quickly go through this, you got broadband. We want to get money, put monies aside for broadband, telecommunication. We want to put monies for electricity and solar, scholarship for healthcare professionals and police officers, public uh, safety personnel, housing manufacturing. You know, we have a plan for that. The first one would be built in Tuba City at that old housing services building. Remember that old one that's condemned right between NTUA and Danette College, those of you that are in Tuba City? Demolish that, put a brand new housing manufacturing facility up right there, and then let's start building modern day Hogans, studio Hogans. And you have a sweat equity program so that young families can help build their homes, elderlies can get an octagon, our veterans can get an octagon, and those that can afford it can purchase their uh, homes from there. Because multiple generations of people live under one roof, right? So to push back on that, let's build some homes for our people. So that, in a nutshell, 0116-20, there are over 2,000 people who signed on on the petition. Thank you so much. There have been over uh, hundreds of comments that have come in. Thank you so much. Continue to let our council delegates know now's the time. This week alone will be the week that will shape the Navajo Nation government, either in a positive way or back into the same old, old politics. Do we move forward and get the $600 million spent and to provide uh, improvements to better the quality of life for our people? Or do we just play politics and and try to change the bill and change it around because you just don't like the president or the vice president. It's about coming together for the Navajo people. This week will shape the future of the Navajo Nation. And guess what? Navajo people, you have the power to make sure that all of us are held accountable. You know, you told us you need water. You told us you need electricity, scholarship broadband, telecommunication, housing. Ladies and gentlemen, Vice President, myself, and our administration packaged up this legislation, 0116-20, because we heard the Navajo people. And then we gave it to the council. And guess what? We don't have control over that. We packaged it up. It's over there. But you have control over it, ladies and gentlemen. By telling your council delegate, let's move forward. No more of this old politics. No more of this division. Let's improve the quality of life with these monies that come that came in. And these are not handouts. This is money that went to all US citizens. And this is our share of money 
for relief. And let's get make, you know, let's get this money working for us. The plan is there. We thought about it and we worked together to package this legislation up. And I want to say thank you to all the council delegates who saw that that have signed off on it. Edmund Yazi, Ricky Nez, Jamie Hino, Key Allen Begay, Mark Freeland, Herman Daniels Jr. Um, also the, the delegate out of the Tuhatchee, Pernal Halona, uh, the delegate out of Lichii, Paul Begay, and, and there are many more that have signed off on this bill. Please tell these delegates thank you. Thank you for supporting this bill. And we will take a picture and show you who these delegates are. And there's time for others to sign off on this bill, too. To sign in support. Edison Winika, who was here at uh, our, our last uh, town hall, signed off on it. You know, enough of the old politics. That's what we campaigned for. Here's an opportunity for all of us to move forward, ladies and gentlemen. With your help, if we just rely on that, the discussion... Politics will sway the decision for this bill. But if you as a Navajo Nation citizen demand that they pass this bill because you are the voters, you put these individuals in, including us, we're just following through on what you wanted us to do. But there's a three-branch separation of power, right? We package it up and we have to give it to the lawmaking body. The folks, the delegates that have worked very hard, those that I mentioned, thank you so much. And I know that you are thinking for the future. Of course, all of the delegates are thinking towards the future. Here's the opportunity. This week is critical. We go forward or we go backward into the old politics. Demand change, ladies and gentlemen. Voters out there demand change. Don't just be one of those that will say, oh, man, same stuff again. Oh, they're not going to listen. If each and every one of you demand change, they will listen. 2,000 people sign a petition to get this bill forward. Write to your leaders and demand change to happen. Now is the time ladies and gentlemen and with that said with all the data that we received here you know we have to go into uh the don't back down campaign meaning that wearing our mask all around us we're seeing uh high numbers going up and so we have talked amongst ourselves with leadership. And what we've decided is to reinstate the 57-hour curfew for the next two weeks. Before you start throwing stuff at the computer or the TV, look at these numbers. In the state of Arizona, the numbers are increasing twofold at times. We have to protect our people, ladies and gentlemen. And so before the 57 hours it was for us here on Navajo to stay home. That's the same thing. But now we have to protect our people. Like I said many times, what happens here on the navajo nation affects those off our nation vice versa what's happening off our nation affects us here on the navajo nation and so our visitors out there please tourism season 
Don't go through Navajo. Don't come through the nation. We want to protect everyone, including the visitors. So visitors, the best place to be is at home. Now's not the time to be traveling all over the Southwest. Look at the numbers. The data and the information back us up on what we're trying to do to protect the health and well-being of everybody, even those that live off our nation. We're all in this together. There's going to be a travel advisory as well that we do not travel off the nation. And we do have travel restrictions in place for our Navajo Nation employees. So it and el a dik weekend zigi kot a da del khalia e na che ko delia nte tin le to ko de kosen tragen na hast e za da de ko ni zigi bin na e ka de tin dan da do khasta di no hot an da hit na ki de mo do le di de mo ya je gone do de mo gone do da che ta do le Basi tit Naha hata needs an oda dina, Ebony natoch anta kri da dina. Shik erosion hoz dode dole to de deski da ad. Dido chado yosh, any gida the bini na winsen. Do beze do do bechi dun da dun and the balda. Eda the bini na deconic, lo dago deconic. Ebony nan hirat chenibich yadast. Ara has do good in dark cray. Ara are the kid that has any dot d chadas in the bed, double don't ne mask. Ara are are in dark cray. D not sneaky, not a good zago in da double don't ne a mado a jay a che a masson a nulla no sneaky. John a nikini in the untin. Da is not a nihinat ani. Do became so zido di cogido na di cogets is by a hyagin da nin hits allow do. Ado di do con a gel donna banda hanigi do. Ek at slow abich da la art. Ado gel donna da has nihe. Ha elebini na. A hot a ain hik ain hid na. Con gel on a banda honey. A don't know where all that. A chayatash he ad, her run has ad. No where show hot nene. Do jo hot a. Yadil kid at the seat lean. She aid in doshidna. Near jo by inch kedo edition, kodo. Dishni, ah, quitch, ah, quitch, Judy, not sneaky, a deed and every key up a car, ya corn nil. Ah, nil scores car e jail, beneath na a hot za. A skissing day's nesho. Great old, the old cayun, he gave him na, ah, the kedder had any gitla. Dalzit. Ebenina, ah, and then the so tantabadona, ah, the kedder had any. Aroch on da cre, mask to das, eh? Asa again linigin lay, ah, nalia bowland. Ah, the e yan da osni, the bedo, ne? Ah, nichi, con a daddy, ne, ne, the quishin de zede, eh? Ben da not tin, ah, the naha chinik ain and linigi, keda hat inigi. Kai jail, ebony na ya cornil. Ebony na e teen dot a dol kasnana. Binti ya cornil. De des kiddo e bastier. 
I'm going to end by, by saying, and I said this in Navajo, and it's more powerful to say it in the Navajo language, is that we were given teaching to share with our people, to share with our children, our grandchildren, of resilience and overcoming and helping each other out. And now is the time, this is the generation that we got to step up to show to magnify that resilience in these tough times, these uncertain times that we have before us, ladies and gentlemen. 
Put our foot down. Put our foot down. Moms and dads, put your foot down. You control your house. Grandmas and grandpas, nullies, put your foot down. You control your house. Don't let the younger generation, don't let the young people take advantage of you. You have control. Let's remember that teaching. Don't let our children just do whatever they want. Tell them to stay home. Tell them to not travel around to their friends. Now's not the time to do that. Now's the time to unite and bring our people, our family members back into the house because the house is our protection. And you've heard me say this many times. The safest place to be right now is at home. But I understand and recognize that some people may need some help at home. Drugs, alcohol, violence. That's where people around us, our relatives, step up, hold each other accountable. We're all in this together. We got to not just rely on government all the time. More so than ever before in our history, this generation, now's the time to remind ourselves of what our ancestors went through, to come together and help each other out. Yes, the numbers are flattening out. Yes, the numbers are, are going down. But it took only one person to bring the bug into the Navajo Nation and it spread like wildfire. All these people around us, all these uh, states around us, you see the numbers increasing. It's concerning. And we got the data to back it up. It's not just the news. It's fact. And we need to safeguard our people, our elders, our children. And so I challenge all of us. Let's all be warriors. Warriors protect our family members. Warriors protect our communities. Warriors protect our people and our nation. And let's be warriors. God bless you. And God bless our great Navajo Nation. Turn the time over to our vice president here, Myron Lizer. Brother, Mr. Lizer. President, thank you very much for your leadership uh, and your words of encouragement and your uh, advice and your advocacy and your strong words to the people. Uh, we thank you. Uh, and now, in the, this update from the vice president of the Navajo Nation, Shea Myron Lizer. Navajo Nation Vice President, Comanche Nishle, Tohana Bashistin, Otto Comanche Deshache, Clash Deshaneli. It's good to be with you all this morning. As states have opened up, we've seen the number of those infections rise, something that the health professionals had been cautioning the people about for a while now has come to fruition. So we are now faced with enacting our curfew measures uh, nationwide. This has always been a potential scenario. The epidemiologists can help us see the need for these measures to be enacted. Again, we are very appreciative of our frontline uh, emergency personnel, our nurses in every facility across Navajo, our prayers and protection of strength as you care for those that are infected and uh, as they need your help and hope, but also for your families. Every last one of them are nurses. Those families, they wait for you to come home safe and sound. Yeah, and our public safety officers and rangers and administrative personnel, God's strength, peace, and protection be with you. Amen. So as we prep for these weekend curfews to uh, commence, uh, let's not lose hope but be emboldened in this, our fight against COVID-19. If these new uh, uh, orders are to, to come, then let us work and, and let them do the work that they were meant to do to keep our people safe and to keep our people, uh, our most vulnerable population safe. We can do this. Let's not ease up on our vigilance. And so as we um, uh, talk about this COVID-19, uh, envision having this COVID-19 by the throat and your foot is on the throat. 
And so as your foot is on that throat, let's choke it out uh, this remaining time by staying home and staying safe this weekend. So no shopping binges, Shidana, which means no traveling to the border towns, which means no page, no Flagstaff, no Winslow, no Holbroke, no Gallup, no Farmington, no Blanding, no Albuquerque, no Phoenix, no Sedona, no Prescott. I could go on and on. But as you know, all of these sites hold varying reasons for necessary travel to these locales. Some of you may have doctor's appointments and such, and I get it. But for the most part, the most of you can stay home and you can stay safe and you can save potential lives. You know who you are. And so we appreciate you all again in this time. The message that we send out is for all of our people to be accountable and to do your part in protecting our people, our most vulnerable population. Yeah. We also, as we stay home and stay safe and save lives, we can also uh, know and be fortified uh, in the fact that as we buy Navajo and buy local, we don't have to travel. And so the battle is now in the prevention, not in the reaction to COVID-19. Just stay home. Wash your hands. Sanitize frequently. Sanitize the surfaces in, that you touch in, uh, free, most frequently, your doorknobs, the steering wheels, the buttons, uh, the uh, radio dial, the, all these areas of high use, clean them and sanitize them uh, periodically and frequently. Wear your masks. You know, fight the notion to not wear the mask. I know it's burdensome. Some of us, though, we're, we're, we've developed great habits. Oh, I forgot my mask. Run back and get it. Carry several of them in your vehicle if you see anybody out on the street man stop pull over give them a mask it, it's that great it's that needed we don't want a further uh you know uh, uh this COVID 19 being uh, transmitted to others that are out there and so when we do that and we uh experience and we uh, elevate our levels of uh, concern in these uh these portions decide for yourself and for your family to just do it to just do it. In a little bit, we'll hear from Mr. Arvin Mitchell for our Navajo census numbers. And he's got some facts and figures here. And I don't want to steal his thunder, but uh, we have new census numbers for the work that is being done in this census 2020. And so just shortly here, I'll introduce him as he comes and gives us uh, the facts and the figures and uh, some needed information. Earlier, our president spoke on the discussions with our federal family, our congressional delegation about our fight with this virus. Yesterday, we gave an update to the White House and IHS leaders on testing. As our nation looks forward to coming back to work, we have the great need to be able to test and have every employee tested as they come back to work and to be able to continue testing and have quick turnaround on those results. And this gives our 5,000 plus employees the peace of mind as they come back to work. You know, after three months of sitting at home, we need to develop within them a real confidence in knowing that when they, when they do come back, uh, and they can come back effectively and in a safe manner as we open up our government. And so that's what our goal is and our plans. And so we'll have the need for 30,000 testing kits available every month as we open up our government and as we uh, open up and try to uh, uh, regain a, a normal sense of uh, cadence in our, in our daily lives. And so we are appreciative of our federal partners, as the President was mentioning, for this great and collaborative work. We appreciate one and all, yeah, from the Democrats to the Republicans to all those that are, are, are seeing the need to work with Navajo and Indian country to uh, create what they are mission-minded to do is to uh, enhance the quality health care uh, for Indian country all across the board. And so we appreciate them. And lastly, <coughs> when a people are going through trials and struggles and there is pain and the people are losing hope, some offerings of encouragement here, some of you know these scriptures very well. Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Jesus Christ who gives me strength. Amen. Isaiah 41.10, fear not, 
for I am with you. Be not, be, do, be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, and I will help you. I will hold you up with my righteous right hand. Strengthening, empowering words. And lastly, Deuteronomy 31, 6. Be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be in dread of them, for it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Encouraging words for a time that um, power and strength needs to be ours. And hope and encouragement needs to be accessible for us. And we can. So I encourage you all, Shedanah, to keep strong, to read the word, to say your prayers continually. The affectionate prayers of a righteous man avails much. Continue to, to ask God, our creator, Bohanihi, Shidi and God to give you those words and for those of whom you are to pray for. You know, we are in a, such a tumultuous time right now all across our nation. Not only are we fighting the pandemic, but we're fighting each other and that not need be. Our battle is not against flesh and blood, but against the powers and principalities and dominions. It's against an enemy who wishes to create disunity. And if we were to recognize that very fact, disunity, not working together, fighting, that's not us. We are humans, all created to work together. And that's why the Bible says, you know, to love our God, our Father, with all our mind, with all our heart, and with all our soul, and to love our neighbor as ourself. These two are the greatest commandments. And so I encourage you, Shedina, to use this time to become stronger, to, be, to become uh, a more uh, determined, to develop uh, a character, uh, a, a follower of the, our Lord and Savior Jesus, to, to look to your, our Creator for every good thing, and He'll hold nothing back from us. That would be our prayer. And so as I uh, introduce Arbin Mitchell here, the 2020 uh, Navajo Census uh, um, uh, director, uh, please be encouraged that as we hear uh, more vital updates and encouragement from our leaders, that uh, we're all in this together, and we know that. And if we were to dwell, really dwell on those words, we are all in this together. We need to find ways to work better together, to work strongly for one common cause, and that is to eradicate this land of the COVID-19 virus and also to love our neighbor as ourselves. So we thank you again. And so without further ado, Mr. Arvin Mitchell. Shehala. Shehala, Nana, President, Nana, Vice President, Nana, Adoha, Okizugi, Inotsagi, Shehala, Ado Kodo, Eya, Shut Echi, Torich, Eni, Enchl, Shimba, Shishin, Kia, Ani, Dashi, Naga, Nidashinal, Ado Nizna, Naha, Pik, Nanaltra. 2020 census to Abraham last week last Tuesday a overview given the president vice president a ya did the Nell Tragibic Aha Washington, that how based on Nada Adon the Nat Ani Vic Aha Nada Hatsa. So it's very important that we get counted within our Navajo Nation because this is all about power and money on the outside. A hut are you power and money? A dot get your fair share equal representation. I need the eighty eight. I don't need ya, hold up a chohot. I thought ya. Need about your hot a cares act six hundred million. But no, it's not a a the net and eight two thousand ten at the the nail tra a big a six hundred million hit net a co a d d g to 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 a uh shout open yeah how a now ultra to zone a get a the whole a chago a yeah big a whole base on dante other thirsty. Friday at a a timeline even the hasil na kaho a ya that initiative ado a a a in kitchen ah ado di kat 
March the 18th, and a ya suspend ya due to COVID 19. The whole national company, but now a ya ita a suspend ya operation. Although the that is Nishige a June the 11th, Thursday, and a so we've been out in the field for the last three, three or four days. A a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a the the plastic bag the a a a a the door handle but the nose not to lift a don the big on a questionnaire so maybe not a and that nagi a good at a good bit nose not to lift a she a ya cut in the eat or lift class in the other a chick do in the side a don the bath net to any able to listen to a she was a hot can you a able to listen to lift it it a a ya na tsos ni ni tal kapat na snedole adon dan do yo do yo a ya na ta an do ti adon ti de khit a e na ta an jil i cho ta e na de khit la ti de tha kon a e ya be ka na ta an da na internet ko ho lo adon if you have connectivity wifi da ho lo adon an da e ya ni computer ho lo da e ya you can re, re, uh, respond back Going to the internet, a twenty twenty census dot gov. it'll take you to the questionnaire. I don't want the old telephone being on now. This nations also a a ya so a a be hot a a a a a telephone a be 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 not a angel in so a number a a a eight four four three three zero two zero two zero a telephone number again. I don't know what to do now. It's so shaky. It's not a description. So it's not a description. So those are some information. I don't think it's not a description. So it's not a description. I don't know. Lo, ba 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 ha na to le te da. Ado a a da bi ba ka lo on the questionnaire ki ta je ki ki. E e to e a ta e bi ba ka. Ado Wi-Fi da ta lo a ha wa da Wi-Fi ta no. Le in T U A. Ado an da in A U to Sacred Wind. Uh, they have some free Wi-Fi at these chapter parking lot. E to community development. On their website, it has all these uh, internet on uh, internet information uh, on their website. Isinto aja e ya aja si e nasiido le community development but website. Iki ado niya ba jo na niya ba jo na ati the questionnaire iki ya a a t iki a p the census ID number p the baka a a t le the enumerator sa sa a de e ya ti sa ni ke ni yo e e a ti number ba ka a do an da ni hi gan e e ya a physical address ki e e gps ti ti da ta ha gin ti cha e a de e ya ye go e a address ti la a do an da ti address ili ya ki il tie into your census questionnaire a ko e ti kato se ho when you log on to the internet Edo ta lego o o pish pish na pish kutish na edo ta sa kada tol ni no zig o edo ki e ya yun na kita kita tol ni tini census ID numbers eh ino eh kaya ki ay ta bakha tol ni ado ta wal tie into your physical address edo ya at nle de kaya no tini ki ado nta kaya na edo kaya at siso da na sa e e at the Kudo asks is a bashnet or lit ado on there it says instruction before you uh, answer question number one because I don't the Abikilga how many people were living or staying in this house on April the first, twenty twenty. Hane la e quagi di da ha one has anigi kudo e ya quen haso tande to hot a night the kid e quagi e ya bakaji a slap. Kun na si tande jeno si e aslap kaj do li. Adon da bekeo an na de kit. Were there any additional people staying here on April the 1st that you did not include in question one? E e o na kit an na de kit la. 
え、しあ、いしあ、ほんにぎ、あ、あ、しんれだ、ほ、てんにぎ。あ、え、ど、だ、だ、ず、あ、モバイルホーム、し、え、ど、だ、アパートメント、し、ず、ちょ、ほ、
There's a lot of Navajos that are living off the reservation. Phoenix said, Ah, so, questionnaire, Six two three four. Ajaeniotoshnaeniotoshnaeniotoshnaeniotoshnaeniotoshnaeniotoshnaeniotoshnaeniotoshnaeniotoshnaeniotoshnaeniotoshnaeniotoshnaeniotoshnaeniotosh
ni ni ti respond to the census di ti gin nat an doh tli san he kyo e do ta ato san he kyo e ti ti di bich an doh na so ta da e ya da di kita ato na nat an i ato ta hao na so ta na san la ato a ato nat an i dan le ni ki ta di kat don ni ba 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 he kita di na ki na he ba hui na de landa tleho na tani landa tleho ta ada ba hui na ti ta ji ti bini na en ki ta tol ta no e ada e ba da hui na e kon za ta kol ji ko ko do shin e ya ko do shin e ya jo de ni ado o ke ha na ki de shin do de ko do shin no tsa ge ado un ta ko je na ki si ge every week ko don ki sha han e do e ya ba ke ni tsun ado o ke ha Nan ki dish ni dole. Thank you very much. Good morning. Uh, this is Dr. Jim, or good afternoon. I am the director for the Navajo Department of Health. Um, I want to just introduce myself. Um, look on the show. Um, touching the bushes chain door, a shame does a chain door. The Zafane does another door, not this on the ice in Russia. Oh, that's Don Shanto. I just wanted to welcome the listeners to um, the town hall meeting by um, President Inez and Vice President and Mr. Mitchell um, talking about the census, um, importance of census participation. I always look at the census as a way of um, advocating for funding funding for the Department of Health regarding diabetes, CHRs. So I always feel those are very important, um, I guess, um, every 10 years to participate in the census. So I just want to also encourage everyone to um, find ways to participate and be involved in the process. So, but in regards to the overall COVID-19, I am the director for the Department of Health, which is overseeing the um, public health emergency with various partners with the tribe and IHS. And I just wanted to give an overview of where we're at uh, with the Health Command Operations Center. Um, we operate out of um, the Department of Health and we um, have an incident command operation. Our incident commander is Mr. David Nez. We do have um, a public health branch and a medical branch and in those ICE incident command structures or organizational charts, we're focusing on providing alternate care sites for individuals with low acute care for COVID-19. Also um, isolation areas for individuals that um, potentially um, need to be um, separated from other individuals at several sites. And also under public health, what we focus on is the epidemiology around understanding um, COVID-19 cases and contact tracing, case management. There's also a home support function which focuses on identifying COVID-19 families or individuals and or impacted families and provide resources to those individuals so they um, are staying at home and staying safe at home and sheltering in place. So we have a lot of partnerships with um, nonprofit organizations like CORE and John Hopkins to work with our public health nurses and CHRs. And so there's a lot of the efforts that's happening under the COVID-19 response efforts. And then we also work with um, community mitigation efforts as well, um, such as water resources. I think water is all really, really um, critical in this process because we need water to be able to wash our hands and 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 reduce exposure by having more access to water. So those have been kind of the overall components of the incident command structure. We use the emergency process. We also work with social services and there's also a large humanitarian effort under the office of the president and vice president where they focus on providing um, resources to communities across the Navajo Nation and um, I just want to just thank everyone and also the donations that have been coming to the Navajo Nation so far. And as we're beginning to work on phasing in services in the future in the next month or so, but it really depends on our own individual um, responsibilities, our own self 
determination and commitment to be able to um, refrain from traveling. I know everyone misses um, the family gatherings, especially when it's summer right now, or even traveling to places, um, but life is not the same with COVID-19 still here. So I just want to encourage um, people to still um, shelter in place and stay at home and also um, be able to can, um, take responsibility for your actions as well um, as you're looking at protecting yourself and your family. And as President mentioned, the elders in our community um, and, and also the whole Navajo Nation, without you and everyone's involvement, um, we definitely will need to keep our numbers going down and that, re that requires our own efforts. And so I always try to look at um, the whole picture. Uh, we are a very large nation. We are very um, mobile. And I think there is temptation to try to um, do things normal again, like getting your hair cut, shopping for things in the mall or eating out at places. But those are things that we can overcome, um, that you can work on your own by make, making um, some foods that you want to eat out at restaurants at home. Um, those are things that you can do on your own and possibly save money as well. Spending time with your family. And as we always have reiterated, quality time with your family is very important. Um, and that might require doing things in your homestead, such as either taking care of your livestock or there's also um, watering your cornfield if you do have that. I mean, there are things that um, we can teach our kids um, since they're out of school and we keep emphasizing that um, we don't need to be out in the town um, trying to go watch the latest movie or trying to do things normal again. I think we can overcome this um, and it all requires everyone's participation. So those are my overall messages as we're moving into the possible um, curfew again and just to prepare early and, and not the last minute and also help your neighbors and community members. Um, some families might not have the transportation or the ability to um, provide for themselves during this time because they're either high risk or they're elders and they need to stay home. So just help each other is also one thing, but at the same time, practice social distancing, no contact deliveries and conversation. I know in my own community, my mother and my aunt, they do provide and help others in their community, but they drop off a box of food like away from um, and near the home and not directly contacting the family. So there are things that we can still do. So I just want to encourage everyone to just think about our own actions. I know I'm saying all of this in Navajo, but I just want to encourage everyone to um, hopefully translate some of these um, information. I also want to share our um, current um, webpage for the Department of Health. And in, in that webpage, what I have is um, that I want everyone to kind of um, be um, familiar with our webpage. And these are just um, the Navajo Department of webpage here. I really like this COVID-19 resources area. And if you click on that, you'll have a number of fact sheets around um, why, a, uh, why a fast face mask for preventing COVID-19 transmission. So if you click on these PDF files, um, it'll give you um, various um, information. So that one's not working. But just click on these. There's essential um, shopping tips as well. How to shop, um, how to safely use a community laundromat as well. And then there's also um, other materials here that you can use um, as well. Um, transporting um, confirmed suspected individuals to, to the hospital. There's also home care for um, confirmed COVID-19 household members. So I just want to share this information. If you have not um, gone to the Department of Health website, there is a whole section on COVID-19 resources. And there's also a fact sheets. The current numbers are also listed, including the latest public health orders. And there's also an FAQ section that's always useful. 
um, about all these topics here as well. So I hope that you guys um, have time to share um, some of the resources that I just shared with other family members and print out some of those materials for your work or other individuals. So I just wanna thank everyone for their time this afternoon and um, have a good day. Hey, Dr. Fowler. Chicago, 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 Shichito Zet the Tatan Bali, Onza Jet Nahoshle, Kaladi Nantin Walyanigi, Yego, Betongoyedo, Bedeni, Glenchik Edo Shitna, Shady Maidish Gijninchle, Ado Tordichi, Ibashishin, Ashe Tashinando, Tapaha E, Dashiche, Fotos Ahol Yede, Ade is Chishikenle, Hashin Soga E Kodo, Nikit. Penta with Neto, Bantan Hika, Nleho. Hashin Soko Eyadi Kodo, Etelate, Nat Ani Dandlini, Akuche, Yen Hiche Yachi. Those Tele, President Nez, Ado Vice President Shiaj, Myron Lizer, Ado Hashin Soko Chief of Staff, Deputy, Ado Hombesh Mansa Anna Nosenigi, Kebedai Kehit, Ah, Shiaj, Nas, Tselda Noslen, Shiche. Ado Shadeja Ado Hashkeb has Aj Shama Lini Hom Ado Hashin Sako Natani Bedan Hit Ojibo Dan Sado Natani Shin Ado Tatnas Nelida the Nosse, the Bebenant Ada the Nosse Hom Arnot E. Kodo that is not I here and he didn't need a let Ado Shea Sazido E. Kodo an hiza don hi be na ntini ta pa ha de shne la ho ha shin so go e di e di sa o a an ni ha shin so go de ne be za di a be ke je o ti lo de a do ha shin so go a ku je be ha che ya ti o be ke je o ti na de sui sa ni da ntina um be shi ya ho a an le Ye go has kajik etcher, out our bed than hit bed nantina. Hai certainly. A cohashin so got a nantine could a kadish jiggy, ben nantin. Hashin so got ashi in Nisata, was his kenna halende. A nantin, it's a shik edo should ne'er. Ah, there that is not so ink a bed like echo. Shama should che. She said, 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 she Yego that an hit it than not out a ya. Ashi and new hot an hit it and now hot it in the Hasho it out or leshik edo should ne drop in at need kinle. Hashin so got the quiz can ye dashin quite the quas dojo bati the quas inside as nehi. Ado hashin so got compage ilia. An le bije dal ne je ben ha huins ti. O konde. O shi hut ero le jo ni hit adol to e ni zen. De kosto jo ba i. A shi ne la a ni ye gon hi i. A do ye gon ti i kes. A shi ne la go hon pe hes a ni hata de lia. Ik e huin of i do le stan hit de no a de be dan hi jes do ni hit be dan hi el jes. Nikema son and Niki chain, Niki Nalabel Hato, Jay, Adon Hik Aid and Lini Hajo Babes the house net. 
ดีดคริสซานาสเอตอาตะเบดอจินิชิซะซีโรเอคอนตะคริสโตโจปะอีโอตะเอยาเปนะสิดเนสทาโตยะอะเตฮิตะฮาลาฮาชินซะโกเอ
ハレスクイトサニジレンダアハマホロアジェホロアナハテノフツキサベハスアコンデディシチンギナハチネハシネナンキテンディジェンレチョペチョコタタホエアンレアドアツコノコアニロパシリアティンスコアティンスティンスハ
ハシンツコナトシンリニトホンオユコペナンチンオコティハコシンタトカイパタハスネアドンタノスネハシンツコアマトジェアナルアマサノワデナハスカニニヒケイネタザアオツエハデタシナガニヒエウエニヒヤジ
to a kona seta hol a da to le ti ko e be che ya ti na hilla a don de be nan ti do le na achin so ke a ka da to na achin ho to le ta ta ha ni de a ro ha shin so ko ti be je ho lo na to ko tsu na i sai chi chi ti no eni ki ne eta se che ta ti ne a much long ado in the that they know a ya obit and he are. Yea, go strong with that clunky or needle that certain that. Joe, oh, you going to eat Kessishne. I know how she took on his zapa for he understood. He has she took a deep belaganic at your face for this. I just saw the yard a heap, which is on. Edo do ya at eta, edo as con jo ne yo tlita. Do ya at a heat a chic edo should ne, e nai ditra, e nane dit case a dafne. Ado hashin took a cotto, we cannot an in linis at Celedo, she ya yen hisna has net, yen hisna has net. De con. Zato a chinta de Napalin, Lego Naha, or Chitano, and Ash Honda, Ado Bayata no Sinne, Ah, Nishi, do 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 quite a kit and the Obejo Gasacol, and Hashine la o Yunanish from Wade, a concha and a penda, get at the liet. Hashino Sanchi get at all la. Ajako, Sahono, no, Ajako, none is zeal beat Hatoha, a that's a head at all in. When his Zato yat a hunt at the e. Is not Aja had dodged beach in now, Aja that's a head if in. A con has shields a good kin has uncle or cat and eat it there. Quell con she called cat doesn't tell. Nee cat on the crayon twenty stood a no, a con. The um, air conditioner days, Nini Dan Hill Chong. Ah, ah, gente. Ha, eh, wait, ah. Ha, don't the dog, which ha, da, eh, ni, ni, da. De, the cousin, Lini, eh, ha, do, ye, na, ze. Skin, la, oh, bet, and do, do, ha, jo, oh, wing, ze, de, the cousin, jo, ba, e. Ah, do, ha, she, no, sa, eh, ya, oh, eh, you, da, no, tin. Na, do, she, ni, he, da, ho, la, con. Aja Ben and Tinny, a dean dot lend the home. Yea, go Ben dot no tin. Hashin or Sanche are a knee dot no tin home when the eight he had chick edo should the net, but a yen sin. Hashin or Sanche quite not in tin or a you. Nikan dot in tin the whole long. Hashin and Lark on this tin, eight he had chick edo should the net. Shamas son is a chain that the nonsense should not let the nonsense. She yash Juno Nikan Dutton Tin. A call A Sato Ben and Tin, Shido Quedo, Naha Jensen. Ado Dishna Ado, as you but the innocent is too sunny band and not can't hit that no. A bash at the house, she's the band the house here. Home one the Bacada that were abashed and dark let. A Nikinaha Nazla, the cage came of Nini. Aj, Ado Hashino Sanche, the upset, the upoda, Kachin the yogic at Hati, the Hatahine's day. Jodi at end the Hasli, and she added Nahani. Ain't Lake Trakoko, she not his nata at Jetole. Ado Hashini, Tladi, Chinyan, Chinil, any. A that's the odds, a young pa, a day seat, Nahle. Di ko ha shin sa go chinyan tsin sa ta al ego aja ta o yu is chet ni tse la. Ha la ho tse ta ay si sa ni ba la na maz da zi li. A ho wa de chinyan te in o sh e ha ni tse. Jo ko ta dan da in chin chik e do shi ne. O ko ye go be e ta a ho siya do ye go be in da a shi no tsin. Ado Abelacana, Ketchupaha, not at Zio, Oyo Saha, or none at that. Ah, I need the neck etcher, not in Tindo, the neck etcher, hey, the hard Zio, Nuji Lahol, eh? Big in the honey, the con. 
ออเบฮิลคาออเจอาอานีนิเคออตนาอาตาเตโตเปสาฮิวเบบิกิจยาจิตเตชิตออนีโออยูโกสะฮอเซเบนะฮะกาชิเตยอสะฮาชินเนล
and my colleagues discuss uh, the reopening plans and the reopening phases. Our priority is to keep um, community members, chapter staff, and chapter officials safe in the reopening. Our reopening includes uh, education, uh, awareness, um, being disciplined to the CDC guidelines, and being disciplined to what we now know of being safe, social distancing, washing our hands, wearing a mask, uh, and those uh, such uh, CDC guidelines that continue to keep us safe. So we're now addressing um, the chapter level, uh, making sure that our chapters have the right tools and materials to keep community members safe. Um, so look to uh, working with DCD on, um, on uh, uh, addressing the reopening for the 110 chapters. The Division of Community Development, we've worked hard to support the chapters, the 110 chapters um, during this time by keeping uh, staff safe. We have done two uh, distributions to all 110 chapters, uh, including masks, gloves, PPEs, and cleaning supplies. And we'll be getting ready to do our third distribution to all 110 chapters. Um, uh, showing our support and showing our care to the safety of staff and employees and chapter officials. So we'll be getting ready to deploy those materials um, from the Division of Community Development. Also from the Division of Community Development, you can turn to our um, website. We have a resource listing, a resource listing that is applicable not only to the chapters, but to many communities throughout the Navajo Nation, including New Mexico, Utah, and Arizona. Those resource listings include grant opportunities, funding opportunities, trainings, and webinars that are applicable to all citizens of the Navajo Nation. So please check out the, the web, website, uh, Division of Community Development. We also have information regarding the census as you may have heard earlier um, from uh, Complete Count Commissioner um, Arvin Mitchell, there are an, there's an estimated 76,000 homes on the Navajo Nation. Our job is to do our uh, to reach out, canvas those homes, and have everybody included or counted during this time. Uh, although because of the pandemic, we lag somewhat. Uh, in counting the Navajo people, um, and that count is important. That count helps us improve our communities, our schools, our facilities, our health facilities, our police officers, our public safety. Those numbers are important. You are important, and you count, and you matter, and that's why we're encouraging everyone to self-respond um, during this time. You can find that information on the Division of Community Development. Also, I just want to add to um, our staff uh, from the Administrative Service Center will be working with all of the chapters in the Coconino County, Navajo County, and Apache County in the upcoming elections. Those elections are set to happen at the end of July, starting August and we will be working closely with the chapters. Uh, our goal um, and our mission is to keep everyone safe while affording and honoring your right to vote. We all have the right to vote, and during this pandemic, we want to keep people safe. We want to keep our elders safe. So, um, so look to your local chapter for those upcoming um, dates uh, for state voting. And in closing, I just want to express my gratitude to our leadership. You may have heard um, earlier from President Nez and Vice President Lizer and the team from the Office of President and Vice President, OPVP staff. They have done food distributions to uh, all 110 chapters, often um, 
recruiting divisions for assistance, division of NDOT, uh, division of transportation, division of natural resources, DCD, many other divisions. Um, one, distributing food is important, but two, keeping people home. And in order to keep people home, people have to have resources. And the more that we can offer those resources, the more we can mobilize communities. When we do our part in mobilizing our communities and preparing for these 57 hour lockdowns, it decreases our need to leave the house or leave home. And it increases our chances of being safe. When we give food or when we give resources or cleaning supplies or masks or et cetera out to rural communities and where they're way out at the sheet camp, when we give them food out there, they're able to stay home and decrease their risk of exposure at the local gas station or at the local grocery store. I'm from Tuba City and it, it doesn't take much to leave my house, go to Bashes, go to uh, the post office and maybe even the gas station. And that's three stops. And that increases my chances of uh, exposure um, three times. So our goal is to mobilize families, assist families to stay home, to stay safe, um, reserve those resources, and decrease our exposure to COVID-19. It sounds like a simple formula, but many of our people are having, uh, are struggling to um, abide by that. And we have to do our part to stay home. And we have to do our part to decrease our own risk of exposure. Look out for elders, look out for one another. And I've seen that already on social media, uh, on multiple platforms of many neighbors helping each other out. I'm seeing multiple uh, forms of camaraderie and neighborhoods coming together and helping each other out. See many people uh, sewing masks for each other, distributing hand washing stations to families and um, communities that have uh, little to no water. Uh, so I'm seeing us as a nation come together but we ha we're not over the fight. The COVID-19 fight is not over. Um, we've gone through a lot together in the last three months, but it's still among us. The, the virus itself is stung up, still among us and we have to do our part to um, keep ourselves safe and keep our loved ones safe. And uh, so I, I just uh, extend my, my appreciation to to all those who are working hard to do their part. We have relatives who are uh, grieving and who are mourning the loss due to COVID-19. And we extend our condolences to those families and we have to continue to uh, be safe and um, to practice those measures um, and to adhere to not only to Navajo Nation, but we have multiple states that we are uh, bordering, Arizona, Air, uh, New Mexico, Colorado, and Utah. So, Ada, yeah, I just want to have a brief update. Uh, quite a bit was covered. Two m threes and requests are uh, still um, routed through the Health Command Center. It is helpful if the Division of Community Development um, uh, is uh, communicated in those two and threes. We are assisting families with um, uh, heavy equipment, with backhoes. We are assisting families and community members with uh, w water, uh, 
access to water. We're trying to increase those efforts to access to water and address uh, temporary watering points at the chapters and permanent watering points throughout Navajo Nation. Um, and so we're trying to uh, be in those conversations at the community level so that if a need arises, we're able to assist. Um, so you can uh, contact us through the Division of Community uh, Development website, and we ask that you continue to be safe out there. Adahuliando, take care of yourself. And I'll end there and thank you again um, to the Office of President and Vice President and colleagues. Ikihat.